Good morning, everyone. Hey, it's Silver. Hi. Happy day 27. It is the last day of Vlogmas. I'm a little bit sad about it, but not really at the same time. Um, I've been having fun. Um, I've been putting up videos every day and I'm just like, whoa, I can talk a lot. I snark a lot, but I don't have coffee. So to that end, I wanted to do a quick Let's kind of hang out and talk about what I accomplished, I guess, in Vlogmas and my thoughts probably going forward, etc. So it might be a little bit of a longer video. Sorry, but not really that sorry. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's start off with the things that I actually finished in Vlogmas. I did finish 26, repeat, 26 diamond painted keychains. I'm telling you, they are all stinking adorable. I wish I could show you the bag of them, but I did give away a fair amount of them at Christmas dinner this year, so... Mm, it's okay. Uh, either way, I did finish sections 11 through 17. I'm going to put all the pictures of everything there on the side here where you see that little chat box. That's where I'm going to put all the pictures of everything so you know. Uh, also, uh, I did finish up Mitten Kitten, which is a cross stitch. I also finished up, oh, sorry, I said 17, 11 through 17 of Dragon Warrior. It's actually the painting that you see right immediately to my left, right there in the corner there. Um, I have three more sections off of I did. I'm hoping to get it done by the new year, but that's a whole other story. Like I said, a little bit of back and forth. It's fine. Anyway, I also finished uh, Mitten Kitten, which is a cross stitch, as well as the snowman. I have no idea where either one of them went. They're somewhere in... I, you can see all the pile of stuff behind me. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, I finished two long neck dinos. Uh, I.e. the... Um, the guys with a longer neck. You know, those things. <sighs> I must need more coffee. Also finished an alligator, uh, two, two stegosauruses, like little small guys. Um, I'll show you pictures of all of them. And also a car. Um, I have finished, I can reach back here. Uh, I finished a bag that looks like alligator scales. I have everything here. I just need to, well, uh, I don't want to put that on the coffee. Why are you making me put down the coffee? No, gang. <laughs> um, I do have a strap that I just have to attach and then weave in that ends. The same goes for a cowl. It's getting the death glare. Anyway, um, I did finish a cowl. I do have to weave in the ends on that as well. Oh, that's in my pile of stuff to weave in back there. Um, let's see. Also, during the month, I did... Uh, start a pair of socks for MTI and a pair of socks for myself. Uh, let's see. Can I reach? Yes. Oh, hey. I could reach MTIs uh, really quickly. He picked this colorway. Um, I was here, I believe. Yeah. I was about here when I started. Actually, this is just Christmas Eve cast on here. And then the rest of it I did yesterday during one of Tina's streams. A link to his channel here, friend of mine on uh, on Twitch, and I've also cast on a new pair of socks for myself. These are the Mercury socks. I'll put the details in the description box below, as well as a little bit of a tag on. There we go. A little bit of a taggy taggy poo on the screen, so that you know. Let's see, I've also started a new crochet blanket, but I have no idea where I put that. Obviously, I just finished working on these for the week, I think. Not week. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, <laughs> it's been it's been a whirlwind of a morning, y'all. Uh, word of warning, this is my first cup of coffee. I've been up since about 8 o'clock. Pretty much working on everything. It's now about 10 to noon. Anyway, uh, right. I also worked on the rest of the clap cat plushie that I was working on. I just have to sew all the ends and then complete it. So that will be a, I worked on, but I didn't really finish kind of thing. 
Anyway, um, I don't know if there was anything. Oh, yeah, right. I was going to talk about um, I made a plan at some point throughout the course of, you know, Vlogmas and Vlogmas and Vlogtober stuff. This is going to be going away until next year. So wait a minute. Um, basically, I made a list of everything I needed to remember to put into said video. Um, this is from, like, say, for example, from the 18th right here. It's, uh, oh, yeah, empty. I was on the vlog and things that I had to do or record myself doing throughout the course of the day so that I didn't forget it. And I know, hey, I have these plans and this plan to finish this and finish that. And then, you know, it's good to go. And then I even planned this week as well. And I'm like, I don't think I've done a single one of these things. Well, no. Right here, it says, uh, as a coffee cheers, apparently, that I'm going to supposed to record. But I'm like, eh. uh, oh, yeah, right, right, right. Coming uh, later, don't worry. I I won't be able, I won't record that, but you can rest assured he's going to be spoiled tonight because we kind of traumatize him with all the wrapping paper we had the other morning, the other day. Like, I kind of alluded to that, but, like, he's been fucking hiding a lot since then but anyway um yep people that are streaming i even wrote down people that are streaming watch what i'm watching um also things that i should probably do around the place to kind of keep things running like i don't know i'm the kind of social manager of the household so i have to make sure okay is mta wanting to stream that week and yada 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 so um january is incoming i'll put the schedule up somewhere on discord it's fine um <laughs> You know, and so days that I want to stream and what section of the diamond painting I was going to be working on. I was trying to get it. I'm still trying to get it done by the end of the year. So at one point I had like, okay, do one section, yada, yada, yada. It seemed to help my brain chill a little bit. Not entirely. But, oh, um, also another thing that happened during Vlogmas was I had a lot of packages being delivered to the wrong household. So... But this is not one of them. This actually made this directly from Miss Tina themselves. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's a shaker card. It's fun. Um, but yeah, I was right. What I was saying was we had a lot of um, delivery drivers during that time frame delivering to the wrong address, to our address instead of 17E or seven, sorry, 7E which is uh at the other side of the complex so they had to go right by it to get to us that poor lady like i swear every day was over here for like a week being like really again like so i put a sign on the door that said hey this is where you're at and then our neighbors look at the sign and they're like oh that's a good idea so both of them <laughs> now put their apartment numbers or condo numbers that said technically right on the outside of their door frames <laughs> whoops <laughs> look what you made me do <laughs> anyway uh let's see let's go ahead and go on to let's look forward a little bit into what 2024 is going to bring um we're going to have two different logs um as we did this year we're going to do a read along um basically trying to Encourage everyone to read at least 10 minutes or more. Um, I haven't done any of these title cards. I literally thought of it this morning while I was still kind of uh, not really awake and kind of in my like I'm going to sleep status last night. Uh, MGI's now officially like you plan too much <laughs> before bed. That is not good for you. You know that, right? And I'm like, hmm. just how my brain works. Anyway, uh, the second log we're going to be doing is what I have actually called Whip, Whip It Good. Um, basically working through all of your works in progress that you've had on the go for a while or even projects that you haven't had on the go for a while. Like, say, for example, I've had the Even Star in my horizon for a while and I have either try to start it before and I've had issues with it and I'm kind of like okay I need to learn new techniques it's why I've been doing a lot more of the magic circle start for crochet to see if maybe that'll help me get the start going properly again and just like stuff like that projects or even um what do I call it uh 
projects that you have wanted to do for a while and just haven't for some reason or other. Like I have a follower blanket that I've been meaning to start and get going um, at some point this year, I promise. Um, and also for me is also the even star, but so stuff like that. So um, we're going to be assigning a number of points or per like say for example if you've had the project on on the go and on the horizon for a while and you say hey i'm going to get this started and you get like a little bit of it done or whatever i'm going to give you five entries into our longs for that if you happen to finish it throughout the course of the year we'll add an extra 15. like so this is going to be a higher like post number or entry number into the long this year because quite frankly I want to encourage everyone to finish up those long-standing whips. Um, I'll be opening up the threads on Discord within the week. I'm um, kind of just like pre-planning everything now. Because I'm just getting a late start because depression is real, folks. Okay. Um, the second thing I'm looking forward to and like that we're working on, working toward, I'm going to be opening up a thread on Discord to share all that I am actually currently working on. I have noticed over the years that the just the physical form of, hey, this is what I've finished for the year or whatever, that just that alone is not working for me. Um, let me show you an example. Like, for example, this is this year's list. Um, I have all of... The things that I finished throughout the course of the year and the yardage in the case of when I was doing stash dash and then you'll notice I stopped <laughs> right when stash dash finished I didn't count yardage for anything after that and I'm just like I need some way for y'all to keep me accountable because I need to I need to get myself on that uh, that's actually the first time I've done that in almost two years. Like all of 2022, I did not list out any of my projects. I have no idea what I finished, what I started, even though I had everything documented for Stash Dash. I just never wrote it down for my personal reference. And I usually write lists all the time. So I felt kind of off and I'm like, okay, you know what? 2024 is going to be the year we're going to try to get everything documented digitally and physically. Like we're going to do this. I'm going to be organized. You all want to take bets in the comments. I don't blame you for how long it takes me to stop that. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, you know, I've, lost track of everything that I have ever worked on that I haven't finished. Um, that includes like scrap and projects. That's the pile you see behind me there. I got some scrapbooking projects. I've got some crochet. I've got some cross stitch projects. I've even got a project that like my grandmother started and that I was helping her finish. Um, the needle point, I think I, <sighs> I don't know what to do. Did I just complete it or frog it? Meant for a young kid, I guess. Dolls. No. I'll have to show it at some point throughout the course of the year. I'll do like a um a whip parade at some point. Be like, hey, this is what I've been working on. And what I haven't worked on in years, but I still kind of want to finish. That kind of thing. I'll do that eventually. Um so you know the list itself for all of this i'm going to call it it's not my fault but and that's especially where i'll list off new works in progress and things like that um like it's just not my fault that it hasn't gotten finished right I just get distracted by the new shiny thing. <laughs> i don't know i i wrote a bunch of notes kind of what i wanted to say and i'm just like i'm gonna ramble because my channel all right let's see yeah like i said i have that thread it's currently in progress right now um as i don't know exactly how i want to handle that um i will be doing different threads for the different projects so you can see the progress throughout the course of the year be like hey this is like i said a kind of a whip parade and this is the progress i've made 
Another thing is that I've noticed that I need to get better about writing um, in general. Never mind um, my blog. Um, I have had the Silver's Dreamland podcast uh, site through WordPress for going on seven years now for the podcast initially so that I can put all the podcast episodes up there. Recently, I've started putting up pretty much anything stream related to. So it's like, I've got all these categories and I don't know exactly what I want it to be. And so I'm thinking about making it kind of my, my writing dump, basically, essentially everything that's coming in my head has to go somewhere. I can't just keep it empty all the time. I've got to, you know, start writing this stuff down and I'm like, okay, well, if I have a blog or vlog or whatever going, at least somebody might hear it and kind of understand where wild about things uh, but anyway um, I'm also going to be linking that blog below I'm going to try to do that a lot more and talk about it um, eventually I'll have categories for everything I'm going to be revamping everything in the new year just so everyone knows I'm going to be revamping everything in the new year um, to that end I'm actually going to be taking a complete break from all social medias and everything, at least for a week for myself. Um, you won't see any videos until, well, any new videos until after the 13th of January, because I do need to take a little bit of time to relax after the holidays. Mm. Sorry. And put all of these grand plans in play. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I will be doing um, every Saturday, starting on the, what is that day? Let me look at the calendar on the the 6th of this of January sorry I'll be having the time lapse series coming back um oh yeah to that end the time lapses themselves um I have been looking at numbers and statistics on the site because I'm trying to figure out what y'all want to see because I have so many projects on the go and I don't mind being that eclectic on my channel but I was also thinking about possibly um, stopping the time-lapse series probably by the end of next year so maybe a couple of a couple of paintings that I've already finished plus Dragon Warrior plus maybe one or two more I've got enough saved and banked and ready to go with that series to get me till the end of the year if you do want to see me do more of those please comment below let me know that you love those because honestly i put a lot of work into them and like honestly i don't feel that it's worth it sometimes um especially with the artists that i kind of work with um they are entitled to having their music money essentially so i keep getting little copyright notices on them on the back end and I'm like okay that's fine like but then at the same time I'm using the same like bunch of music and I'm not sure if it's entertaining for everyone and then there are times especially during the holidays um especially when I'm dealing with my depression stuff is that I how do I put this I have been finding that being on camera is not essential or is not it's not as essential it's not comfy during those times of the year and so me recording myself doing the time lapses during that time of the year gets a little iffy but meh anyway uh let's see oh yes right right and when i'm coming back from the the break don't worry about it i'm hoping at the end of the break either way i'm going to be starting off with i'll be having more monthly vlogs i'm hoping I'm hoping that the vlogs will actually end up being pot like full on podcasts like I used to do um, with the older numbering system. I noticed the past couple of years I had been kind of lagging on that and I don't I don't really know where the disconnect stop started, but I um I want to do a rebrand of everything and in that break time I'm hoping to kind of get it done and all figured out. Like I said, it's been a 2023 is okay <laughs> sorry if there's little ones around but it has for me so trying to get myself back in gear for the new year is the uh, best plan ever um so not to bring the wonderful season that is vlogmas down a step but holidays for me are 
the holidays for me are sometimes problematic and so I was trying to hide that during vlogmas but I hope you guys had fun with it um I definitely had fun putting everything together don't get me wrong like I said um just let me know down below um if there is a particular category of videos that you actually come to my channel for that you like I can do more of like I said um it's, yes it's my channel but I kind of want to expand what I do and not just what I feel like putting up on the channel but also like I don't know but word of warning I'm not going to become a reaction channel all the time I might do a few reactions here and there especially if it's a series I've not watched before um I'm hoping once I finally finish watching all of the Doctor Who episodes from New Who like I'm hoping this week or next week between the break coming up with an actual reaction for the 60th because that would be a milestone type episode to react to so we'll see if I get that series going like I said it's on my list <laughs> all right I have been ranting and raving for 20 minutes and I love y'all I'm gonna be breaking up this video with all the pictures so it'll be slightly longer still taking a little bit of time to edit so please be patient I love you all. Have yourself a wonderful week, and I will see you on. Can't do the part. I'm, I'm trying to do this backwards. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the third after the thirteenth. Love y'all.